Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you. Let's get stuck in. So question here from Facebook, uh, coming from David, I think it is. Mark, thanks for all the videos. Uh, I always share your YouTube channel with my friends when they need to get stuck into some fundamentals. Thanks for sharing and the use of my little catchphrase there. Uh, I have a question about driver loft. I went for a fitting on Trackman yesterday and found that I tend to strike my driver about two down. Uh, that in combination with a tendency to get a little flippy gives me some high spin numbers. The fitter, f the fitter suggested that I go to a lower lofted driver around 8.5 to get the spin numbers down a little. But is that right? Curious to get your take. Okay, interesting question. So he says he's hitting two down, so the club's moving down as it hits the ball. Then goes on to say that he gets a little flippy, tendency to get a flippy, which gives some high spin numbers. Um, I can only imagine that means, is he adding dynamic loft? Is that what he means? Is he flipping it forward? I mean, I see that a bit. It's a horrible fault. It's a very hard one to fix where someone hits down while adding loft. It's hard to do, actually. So they're hitting the ball on the way down while adding loft. It's almost like the back of the club hits the ground before the front. Um, yeah, lowering your um, loft on the club definitely can take the spin down a little bit, subject to what you're doing. Uh, if you are actually hitting down and adding dynamic loft, I personally would like to have a go at that first. See how you take to a bit of basic instruction, a feeling of trying to hit with a different launch conditions. If you take to that really quickly and really easily, then I would consider saying, let's do two or three sessions on that and then look at your numbers for a different driver. Obviously, if you've got a changeable head driver, 8.5 loft could mean anything next month. You can crank it up to 10, subject to what driver you're looking at. Um, you'll often find that fitters will just fit the club. They're not particularly that interested in the numbers you bring. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's just a way of doing custom fitting. For me, who comes at it more from a coach's perspective, I would much be, I'd be much more interested in playing with your numbers. See how you can manipulate your impact conditions or not. And then fitting a club a little bit more around that. I mean, I get lots of people who come for fittings and we end up not doing a fitting. We end up doing a lesson and then a fitting kind of two weeks down the line, those kind of things. So, yes, I can understand that with the, with the loft. If you bring the loft down, everything else stays equal. There's a good chance, as long as that dynamic loft comes down as you move the loft down, that the spin numbers could move. Um, but I would be interested, like I say, in seeing how I could move your numbers as much as I could move those spin loft, uh, those spin numbers by changing the angle just simply with loft. But I mean, yeah, that would work. Let me know what you think. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear what you ended up doing, what driver you went for, uh, what angle of attack and dynamic loft were you presenting to the board. It'd be interesting to know. Post comments. If you, if you do know, post comments, let me know. I'd, be, uh, I'd love to see. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.